Hello all. Uh, just a quick video I thought I'd mention. I've been uh, messing around uh, with Arch Linux. Uh, I have the uh, XFCE4 uh, desktop environment uh, running. Um, yeah, I'm using the open source drivers for video. Uh, I don't know if they're fully supported yet. Like I have a ATI 6800 HD. 6800, um, whatever, 6870. 68, and uh, for compositing, I don't have much in the way of uh, fancy effects, but that's okay because I, I want to learn more about this system. I've been messing around with it for a few, quite a while now, maybe a year, year and a half, but uh, quite happy with this. The only compositing, like I said, is if I move. Oh, I turned that off, sorry. You gotta, as you notice up here, I changed this. The, you can customize a lot of this system. Um, that's <laughs> I put a happy face or whatever. Um, I can't remember where it's under Windows Manager. Nope. It's one of these here. Nope. 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 Not appearance. Tweaks. Compositor. Above, above. Yeah, it should work. Opacity of windows during move. Okay, what's going on here? Hmm, let's open Firefox. Yep. Oh, there we go. You can see it goes a little transparent. But that's the extent of it. I don't have anything like when I minimize this. Whoops. Go away. When I minimize, there's nothing fancy. It just pops up. And uh, plugins work. I have uh, Java and uh, Flash and all that good stuff for the internet to work. Uh, problems I've encountered uh, definitely sound. It works, but it just keeps wanting to change. Like the, the PCI and the device numbers change and so did the uh, recording devices change <laughs> I don't know well there's uh, uh, I'm using the onboard sound so it would be uh, real tech based sound um, analog and digital then there's the ATI card itself that has the HDMI audio and then a webcam has its own audio, so maybe that's what's going on. It's getting confused. Um, but that's that's Arch Linux for you. I mean, you learn, live and learn, and it's you know a great learning tool. And of course, I made some custom. I, no, I didn't make them. I mean, I changed the icon set to uh, something different, and the theme as well. That's changed. I didn't change the background, although. Uh, desktops and there's quite a few backgrounds in this. Quite a few wallpapers included on um, when you install XFCE. I'm trying to move that. And if you notice the cursor I have, that's um, customized again. Off uh, GNOME look. Actually, it's X FX, this X XFC look basically. That's what it's called. But if you notice here, I'm just scrolling through. There's quite a few. Uh, sometimes, no, it's not keeping them in there. And there's menus, you can do stuff, the icons to show on the desktop, so file system, on or off, trash, removable devices, those are all the Windows devices, but I usually don't like to have them show up on the desktop because they're in the file manager anyway, which is here, and you can see them here, and just they just load at startup. So yeah, just uh, I, I don't know how much time I'm taking. I wanted to make this a little quicker. Uh, got Gake working, awesome. This guy here, he's uh, Cairo Composite Manager. I think uh, I think I had to install the proprietary uh, drivers, but he it's pretty neat. So I got him disabled. I've got the Composite Desktop disabled because it just lagged behind, and it's not it's the program's fault. It's, it's uh, the fact I don't have the 
accelerated drivers installed. But like I said, it's running fine. And yeah, you can just add whatever you want up here. And I've seen other people's desktops. They're just awesome looking. So yeah, uh, just a quick look at uh, what I've been doing in the Linux world. And uh, yeah, this is pretty good. It's fast, I'll tell you that. It's really fast. Okay, thanks for watching. And uh, have a good day. Talk to you later.